stage and screen star Maurizio Martinez made his Broadway debut in On Your Feet last July. And this July marks another milestone for the Mexican performer. Martinez, who is now starring in On Your Feet's national tour, will make his Feinstein's 54 Below debut on July 1st. The performer stopped by our studio to tell us about celebrating his big year on stage and gave us an exquisite sneak peek at his upcoming concert. Hello, Maurizio. Hello, Ryan. It's so great to see you. It's wonderful to see you again. I haven't seen you since Miami. Since when Miami. You're kicking off the national tour that of was like On Your Feet. Eight months ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. Oh and now you've been touring all across the country. All across the country. Taking the show to people everywhere. Yes. Are you still loving it? I am loving it. Because you were it. loving it at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I still love it. It's a great role to play, yeah. especially now. Uh, it's a great message, it's a great story, it's a great cast. I really do love the show, and I haven't really played it. I mean, I've only done it for eight months on the road, right. and I did it for like a month and a half here on Broadway. Mm -hmm. So it's not even, it's less than a year. It feels more, but it's been less than a year. So right. I'm still like loving it and enjoying it and, and getting to see this beautiful country, right. which is amazing. Yeah. I know that you were excited to be kicking off in Miami because the city means so much yes. to the Estefans and the show, um, but you were also really looking forward to going to Washington, D.C. Yes. How was, how was the it stop was there? It was amazing. Really, really one of my favorite stops. Mm -hmm. I had never been there before and I loved it. Uh, we had the chance to go twice. We did the Kennedy Honors for right. Gloria first. Right. And then <laughs> big we, night. Yeah, big <laughs> night. Big night. Uh, and then we went back for three weeks uh, at the Kennedy Center. And it was just breathtaking to be in such a legendary space and doing this amazing uh, musical and playing, playing this man that I love so much mm -hmm. and singing this music. And it's been amazing. Chicago was also great because it's with like full circle. That's where the yeah. show originated three, right. more than three years ago. So it was great to like bring it back there. And uh, yeah, it's been great. I can't complain. It's like, look at my smile. <laughs> and we have some great stuffs coming uh, in the summer. We have mm -hmm. LA still, San Francisco, Las Vegas. We have great, great yeah, stuffs. Yeah, it's an unstoppable show. Unstoppable it's a, it's show. It's a worldwide phenomenon. Yeah, they're we're, yeah, they're doing it all over the place. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, what have you, you've been playing Emilio now, like you said, for almost yeah. a year and all that. But how, what do you love most about playing this man? And what do you enjoy most about taking this show to people? people everywhere. I love, uh, the thing ab about Emilio that I love the most is uh, getting to portray him in a respectful way and getting to show the people um, his big heart, because mm -hmm. that's what, that what Emilio is. He's really a big heart. Um, he loves Gloria, he loves Cuba, he loves his family, and he loves music. Yeah. So we're very similar too in many, many ways. So that's been just fascinating. And the best part, all through this journey has been becoming his friend and mm -hmm. he's become some uh, like a, kind of a mentor and a father figure and so it, that's just beautiful to have him near him and Gloria they've been right. so supportive so loving so caring that's beautiful uh, and getting to tour the country um, for me right now I'm literally living the American dream I mean, it's it's my crossover role I couldn't think of a better role to do my crossover with mm -hmm. uh, literally as we speak uh, <laughs> I, I'm living it so you know, it's been amazing. It's right. been amazing. Yeah. Right. Just about a year ago, like you mentioned, you made your Broadway debut in yeah. this show before taking it on the July road. 11th. Right. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> That's an important date. You to can't forget yeah, your Broadway say, debut, right? One. Yes. And now, and and so what 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 did you think to have all of this happening in your life all at the same same time? You're about yeah. to make your solo concert debut. So yes. What? How how does you sum up this year for yourself? Ah, it's like the cherry on top. Uh, making my um, Feinstein's 54 Below debut is like literally the cherry on the top because it's it's been a beautiful year and yeah. I want to celebrate it. I recently had my uh, a milestone birthday and I'm celebrating my life. I'm celebrating my dream uh, that came true. I'm celebrating uh, my health, my life, literally uh, doing what I love and coming to this place with that so legendary that I've always wanted to play. Mm -hmm. um, I remember back in Mexico, I would see concerts like uh, on YouTube or whatever. And I'm like, that's a really cool space. Yeah. <laughs> and now that I'm part of the community and that I've been so welcomed, so so lovingly welcomed, um, it feels great and it feels right. And it's a perfect night, uh, July 1st, to be sitting there and standing there and singing. Right. Part of my journey, you know, my, my show is called the Mexico to Broadway mm -hmm. because it's literally that. I'm going to take you on a journey uh, uh, of my life through the yeah. music that I've uh, had the opportunity of singing uh, in all the musicals that I've starred in, first in Mexico, 
and now in the US. Right, yeah. and I know that you are anxious to give us a little preview of yes. what you'll be doing at Fine Science 54 Below on yes. July 1st. 7 p.m. Sure you 7 p.m., that's right. Tell us a little bit about the treat you're gonna give us here. Yes, I am gonna sing from a musical that is very important in the story of my life, Beauty and the Beast. Certainly. I'm gonna sing If I Can't Love Her, but I'm gonna twist it, I'm gonna do a little I'm gonna do it in Spanish. Oh, okay. So you guys can listen to the version that I did mm -hmm. um, a little bit over 10 years ago yeah. in Mexico City. Well, I'm so excited to hear. I'm so excited to celebrate you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming Thank by. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thank you. July 1st. July 1st, 7 p.m., 54 <laughs> below. Mar Mauricio Martinez, <laughs> de Mexico to Broadway. Absolutely. Here we go. <laughs> jamás de algo que pudiera ser amable tengo un aspecto cruel no puedo huir de él hay luz más dentro oscuridad culpable yo no Angustiado, olvidado, sin haber amado, imploro, despreciado, condenado, nunca perdonado. Existe belleza, no existe riqueza que me hagan cambiar si no puedo amarla. Nada de ayudarme, nadie va a enseñar. Pues ella no habrá quien tiempo atrás debí saber todo lo que pude ser si yo hubiera sido bondadoso. Si no puedo amarla, nada importaría, nada esperaría si no hay amor que me libere al fin, más si es así. Y no puedo amar que el mundo sea. 